we want to take a look at trigonometry the very first step on how to answer any question and the very first step is to draw a triangle if you try and answer a question without drawing a triangle for me i will give you no credit at all so let's take a look, look at the first example it says at a point on the ground 40 feet from the foot of a palm tree so let's draw a palm tree and you'll notice i won't read the whole question i'll just read a sentence and do it so i'm going to draw a palm, a palm tree and then 40 feet from that palm tree is a point i don't even know what this point is doing i don't care but it's a point so here's my little palm tree so draw you a palm tree and then 40 feet from that and i'm going to go ahead and label it right now 40 feet with the units so from the base of my tree 40 feet is some point i don't know what the point is doing let me read on ahead the angle of elevation elevation elevate what does elevate mean again rise up go up so from the horizontal going up like you're looking up so the angle of elevation to the top of the palm tree is 42 degrees here's the top of the palm tree and so we must be looking from this point to the top of the um, palm tree from the horizontal line the angle of elevation is 42 degrees just in case you forgot angle of elevation is looking up from the horizontal up this is a listening check color in 40 feet on the triangle color in 40 feet on the triangle and you'll notice I'm going to take my time on this video because if you can't break it down you can't even answer the question so we're going to practice a little reading what is the height of the palm tree how tall is the palm tree so I draw a straight line up and down to figure out how tall the palm tree is and label it X rounded to the nearest tenth of a foot so this is my triangle without understanding that this is my triangle I can't answer the question so we're going to do all the examples drawing the little triangle um, so we can answer the question so that's always the first step a road is inclined eight degrees with the horizontal so a road right a road is inclined eight degrees with the horizontal so I'm gonna draw a road obviously it's it's slanting and here's my horizontal line which remember is a straight line left and right and a road is going horizontally so here's my horizontal road it even has a little marks in the middle of the road or whatever eight degrees with the horizontal so that means the space between the horizontal line and the road is at an eight degree angle this is a listening check put a box around eight degrees in the question and color it in and then it says to the nearest foot how far must you drive up the road so you're driving up the road to increase your altitude altitude what does the word altitude mean again this is not the first time you've seen it remember that's the doctor's height right when you go to the doctor and he takes your height so your height from the ground or from the horizontal line to the tip and it meets at 90 degrees so that's the uh, altitude which is a thousand feet and they saying how far must you drive up the road so that must be X driving up the road so if you just take each question and just kind of read like um, a sentence or even half a sentence and write down what you understand from it a 20 foot ladder leans against the building so I need a building I need a 20 foot ladder leaning on the building so here's my building is a listening check underline acute angle in the question and then I'm gonna draw and excuse my building this building is actually really good that building looks really good here's a ladder leaning against my building how long is that ladder 20 feet so the ladder is 20 feet so I'm gonna go label 20 feet all right, the bottom of the ladder, the bottom of the ladder right there is three feet from the building. So the ladder to the building, three feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and label my three feet. To the nearest degree, what acute angle does the ladder make? Acute, what does acute mean again? Less than 90. So it should be like a really small angle. Does a ladder make with the ground? So you find the ladder, you find the ground, what angle does that make and it's an acute angle obviously you can see it's less than 90 so that's my unknown and i'm going to label it x so these are not really hard to see i don't want you to see word problems and run away from them they're not hard let's take a look at another example all right a cliff rises 500 feet above the sea so you need to draw a cliff and the sea so here's my sea and here's a cliff that's 500 feet up and i'm going to label it 500 feet I don't know if that's how a cliff looks like, but that's how I picture it. The listening check, circle 500 feet in the question. All right, the angle of elevation. So again, what does elevation mean? Elevate, rise up from the boat. Oh, there's a boat to the top of the cliff. So right now I'm gonna draw a boat. Oh, look at this wonderful boat I'm drawing. 
So from the boat to the top of the cliff, the angle of elevation, rise up, so I'm looking up, is 70 degrees. So from the um, sea or the cliff to the boat, 70 degrees. From the base of the cliff, how far is the boat? From the base of the cliff. So the boat to the base of the cliff, how far is that? X. Because I don't know. That's the question, right? And that's it. Really, to answer any trick question, you're going to need two pieces of information and an unknown and that it's a 90 degree triangle. Must be a 90 degree triangle, which is why this whole unit is called a right triangles. All right, a plane took off at an 8 degree angle. So I need to draw a plane. I'm going to draw the little airport or little horizontal line. All right, and here's my plane. Man, y'all got to give it to me. I'm like a really good artist. Like I'm really good. So there's my plane taking off. Man, that's fantastic. All right, so it's taking off at an 8 degree angle with the horizontal. So again, horizontal ground. This is a listening check. Underline horizontal distance in the question. To the plane is 8 degrees. So that goes right there. To the nearest foot, what horizontal distance had the plane covered when it had flown 200, 2,000 feet? I'm sorry. So the plane has uh, flown 2,000 feet. And the question is, what's the horizontal distance that it's covered? Okay. So it's flown 2,000 and that's the horizontal distance. Horizontal, straight left and right. And then it's flown 2,000 feet. So this is the line that it's flying. So it's flying 2,000 feet. So that's what I put 2,000 feet at. All right, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at another example. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and put, um, remember, you can't do any of these questions unless it's a right angle triangle. So Pythagorean theorem and trig only works on right angle triangles, which means it has a 90 degree angle in it. All right, Jimmy is flying a kite. Okay, the kite string makes a 38 degree angle with the ground. So Jimmy, so let me draw Jimmy. This is what Jimmy looks like, y'all. If you recognize Jimmy, let me know, because this is what he looks like. And he's flying a kite. This is a listening check. Color in the kite. It makes 38 degrees with the ground, so I need the ground. So let me draw the ground. Although, why am I drawing the ground at his eyes? Well, that's okay. You get the point. It's a horizontal line. 38 degrees with the ground to the kite. Jimmy is standing 30 meters from a point on the ground, directly below the kite. So right below the kite right below the kite right there all right he's standing 30 meters from that point so jimmy is 30 meters from that point so that's 30 meters from jimmy to that point to the nearest meter what is the length of the kite string so there is the string so x what is that and i need to make sure i have three pieces of information two knowns and one unknown so which i do i have an angle a side and an unknown and that's it that's how you start the first step let's practice 